good morning everyone welcome back to my channel and <clears throat> I am showing you my latest uh, skinny journals I guess that's what you call them uh, I did a swap with Deborah Hicks and um, we d swapped these mini journals <clears throat> skinny journals actually and I love the process so I decided to make a couple Halloween ones um, and I will be doing a tutorial also. So <clears throat> these measure, let's see. These measure about, they're about seven and a half or seven and three quarters by two and three quarters. And both of them, they're, they're similar. I mean, they might be a little bit different, but I use this lovely uh trim I, I found I think I found this at AC Moore's or Joann's Joann's I believe some actually no I think I found it at the Dollar Tree yes it was the Dollar Tree all right so I'll show you this one first and like I said <clears throat> they're similar so they open up like this and depending on how you like, you know, you could do one panel, you could decorate the next panel you can have for journaling, or you could decorate whatever you like. But this one I used five different uh, panels, and you can add as many as you like. Here's a little spell book. This was actually from a kit that I got from Stick stick to and this is a uh, uh, it was a journal not a journal it was a um, what do you call them a sticky notepad and I just peeled off a piece and added the cover and I did a lot of decoration um, I found bits and pieces in my collection of stuff <laughs> so I didn't use any one paper pad or anything like that I just used bits and pieces from a lot of different things so on the back I have some coffee dyed paper and I did some inking and then I just embellished each panel so that's that one and then this one is similar And this skeleton I got um, from the Dollar Tree. You know, they come in a pack of five, I believe. So you can see they're similar. So I really had fun creating these. And that's the back side. I have to tell you, <clears throat> these spiders here, I got these at Michael's, I believe. And I wish I bought more. I don't know if they have any more left. I think I got them at Michael's. But I love, love how they look on this project. Oh, excuse me. Alright, so now, put those aside. So I'm going to show you what you need to make the skinny journals. Now, I used five panels, so it depends on how many panels you want. So, you based panels. Okay, where did I put the measurements? There we go. So, the base panels, like I used five, so you need five pieces of cardstock. You can use chipboard, whatever you decide. Um, you can use chipboard and then just cover it, but I use five pieces of cardstock and they measure two and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And then I round my edges. And this next one I'm going to do for fall, uh, for like, um, like Thanksgiving or whatever is coming up. <laughs> so I decided to go with the orange paper because I want to do a, um, a fall theme for the next one. So you need five of those. Then you need 10 uh, decorative pages, 5 for each side. So I chose this and I chose this. 
come on, my fingers aren't working t today. Oh, I actually got six here. <laughs> okay, put one aside. So, you, you need five panels and ten decorative paper, pieces of paper. You can use whatever you like. Uh, this paper came from... I found this paper pad this year um, at Michael's and it, this is really really pretty I love the papers that are in this pad lots of fall beautiful paper so I used a piece of paper from that pad for this this are single sheets that I bought at Hobby Lobby in their single uh, sh sheet section. I have my sweater on, but I gotta take it off. Okay, so you need glue or double sided tape, whichever you choose, and you're also gonna need something to connect um, the base pages. To one another and I found this um, this ribbon I had to go through my stash to try to find the color that would match so if you have five base pages like I do then you're gonna need four pieces of ribbon whatever you decide to use to connect them so if you have six, then you need five. If you have seven, then you need six, and so on and so on. All right, so before I start showing you how to put this together, I'm going to take away this black paper because I don't want to mess that up. Get that all yucky. Okay. Now, to start with your base pages, I wouldn't recommend double-sided tape to attach your um, ribbon or whatever you use because that's it's not as uh, the strength I mean this could uh, just pale right off and you want it to be sturdy so I would recommend you can use double-sided tape and glue if you wanted to do that but I would just use just regular glue all right so what you do and this is my go-to glue I love this glue I use this for everything so I should say all right so this is seven and three quarters length and I didn't really like measure measure I just eyeballed it so it's like a maybe a half inch away from each side let me see. I didn't really measure. I just cut. So it's like almost six and a half inches. About six and a half. All right. So I'm just going to put a bead of glue. Like that. And then I'm just eyeballing it. Maybe have like a quarter of an inch, maybe not even a quarter of an inch of the ribbon glued. Then you put glue on the next one. Mine frame, I hope so. Put a little glue on the next one. And then I'm just going to eyeball it. You have to leave enough room like an eighth of an inch so it can close I mean you gotta leave some room for you so when you're decorating okay so just like that alright so then go just continue to do that until you have them all connected
and I just eyeball it. I don't really mock it or anything. I just eyeball it. We have beautiful fall days here finally in Salisbury, North Carolina. And we actually got some rain that we needed and we're going to have more rain tomorrow. We've been so dry here, it's crazy. But we're finally getting some rain that we desperately need. What am I doing? <laughs> Get to add the ribbon first. Now this ribbon, I don't know where I got it. It, um, I just went through my stash and found it so I'm not exactly sure where I got it and there wasn't much left of it so I can't really tell you where it came from so these journals are good to use up your scraps and you can do any size make bigger panels make shorter panels it's a really easy, quick project. Didn't take me too long to, to make those um, Halloween ones. A couple days, that's it. I'm trying to get them so my panels are even. So. So I showed some of the process of the uh, Halloween ones that I just finished on Facebook and a lot of people are like are you going to do a tutorial so I said sure so that's what I'm doing I had a lot of requests for a tutorial so I said well I better make create one because a lot of people want to know how they go together. All right, so so now to add your decorative pages, you could put the same paper on one side, and then the other. Do that, or you can do one. You could do that. You could do whatever you like. And I tend to like to do the same paper, so. Now you can glue or tape. This is where I like to tape. Use my tape gun. Just gonna So now I'm just going to put all my panels on. These are so cute and quick projects. They're good um, to to make for gifts, um, you can add pockets to them, which I think on this one I, I am going to make some pockets to, <clears throat> so you can put things in, like say you want to give it away as a gift and you can put ephemera in them. I was watching videos yesterday on YouTube and I came across a video where this lady created a uh, what, let me see what did she call it um, a lady's desk junk journal and in the front is a journal and then in the back it's like a um, like a box and with different compartments and she had all kinds of stuff she had ephemera in it she had buttons and little things like paper clips and things you can use in the journal and I'm like oh I think I want to make something like that so now I'm gonna work that out 
because there wasn't a tutorial on it so I'm gonna make up my own but I think that's a cool project and um, so now I'm covering the other side so I have to work out the details for that and it's really really cute and I was hoping she had a tutorial on how she did it but she didn't but that's okay because I'll make up my own Ooh, don't stack it's one thing bad about using double-sided tape is if you place it down wrong it's very hard to get up that's why you got to be careful when you use it so in this video I'm just going to show you how this goes together and then I think on the next one I will start decorating it along with you that's always fun to decorate a project step by step so that you can see my process and a lot of people have asked me to do stuff like that to do my step by step and I really loved the, these colors fall I love the fall colors browns the oranges I love how it all looks so wonderful together okay last piece There you go. Front, back, or front, back, whichever you decide. And then they just fold just like an accordion. Now, if you want to make a tie to tie yours and you want it connected, before you lay your panels, you got to figure out which one's the front and which, how the back's going to go. And then you can put a piece of string here and a piece of ribbon or whatever here, and then you can tie it that way. But... So that's how easy they are to put together. And now it's ready for decoration, which we will start doing in the next video. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put them down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Like this video. Please share my video with all your friends. I'm trying to get to 900 900 subscribers I think I'm 20 something away and when I do I'm going to do a giveaway and I think it will be one of these journals I think I will give away in the giveaway so please subscribe comment like share my video and then once I hit 900 I will do another video announcing when the contest will start and how long it will go I'm not sure about the details yet, but I am sure that you will receive one of these Halloween journals. So thank you again so much for watching, and you all have a wonderful day.